This is a really cool calculator in this video. We're going to take a really quick look at it and we're going to talk about what it's like and who's it for. So the calculator itself is by Texas Instruments and that's a really good brand. It's funny because in the packaging it says number one brand recommended by teachers and I do agree that is probably a factual statement. Most schools use TIs. If you're taking a class in college and like you're not allowed to use certain calculators with certain features, um, this is a good option because this one has a lot of stuff. It's got trig functions. It's got statistics. I mean, everything almost, but it doesn't have calculus. Like it's not going to do calculus for you. It's also not a graphing calculator. Here it tells you you can use it for general math, algebra, geometry, statistics, and general science. It's also permitted on these tests, SAT, ACT, and AP. Even more useful is you get this comparison on the back so you can compare the different models. So you see this one here is pretty much identical to this one. This one just has a, a prettier print display, so it's just a nicer calculator. I also own this one. And then this one here, also this one has a step-by-step -step fraction simplification. This one here has this feature here with the XY tables. And then this one here also has this feature and uh, complex numbers as well. But very similar in features. The core features, right, trig, log, exponents, are shared among all of the models, right? That's the most important stuff, right? And all of the models have that. So kind of an interesting thing that they did that. And I'm happy they did that because that way, even if you get one like this one, you still get a lot of good stuff. So great calculator to turn it on. You turn it on, press the on button. To turn it off, off is in a different color. So you have to press the second key first to so watch. Second off, right? Interesting, right? And then on. And so one thing you want to know about this calculator is when you buy it, because I definitely think I, I recommend it highly, is that you want to make sure that you're ready to commit to reading the manual. And the manual is worth it. I think reading a calculator manual is part of life and everyone should have to do it once. Um, I have a lot of calculators and I've read a lot of calculator manuals. This tells you exactly how to use it, which is exactly what you need. So when you first get it, if you're frustrated, just look in the manual. It's going to be there. You could search online for videos and stuff. But the manual is so much faster and so much more clear than having to watch like a three-minute video to do something that takes you five seconds in the manual. So yeah, very awesome calculator. Um, it does have a battery and it's solar powered as well. And on the back here, let me show you. So you can take this off with a screwdriver to get to the battery. So um, yeah, so that's it. Oh, what's this? Look at this. It's got like a little card in here. It's kind of fun. Looks like it gives you uh, some, some hints and stuff, like some usage notes, which is pretty cool. Right? Little examples, things you might need to know. Uh, once, once you get playing with it and you get to learn your calculator, get to using it, um, you'll like it. Every calculator is a little bit different, by the way. So, you know, they all take some getting used to. Even the higher level TI models, like the 89 and the 92 and the Inspire, they're all a little bit different. They all have their quirks. So, but there's a lot of common differences. Like the, the idea of having a different color uh, a text here and a button to access that text. So in order to access any of the blue keys, you have to hit second first. For example, to access e to the x, second ln. You see, whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Second ln, there it is. There's the e to the, and then you can put a number in there or something. But that feature is, or that usage uh, technique is uh, seen in all models of TIs and all the higher models. So let's say you start with this one and later on you want to get a better one. You're going to have some experience with calculators when you get to that higher level calculator. But I like it. I recommend it. It's the TI-30X2S. It's a great calculator. I've recommended it to tons of students over the years. Um, I think it's awesome. Good luck.